Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Ryan and welcome to Rikert Comics. And I just want to go over some top picks for the new comic book day today. And let's just jump right into it. So my top picks, uh, books I'm looking to read. The first one here is White, number two. Uh, the first one was really good. I didn't know it was going to be about uh, a, a form of superheroes. Um, but that's what it ended up being about. So that really hooked me in there, the first one. The next one here is Dark Ages, number one. And this one just seems really interesting. It's like a dark style uh, uh, superhero book. I'm, I'm not so much sure uh, what this is about, um, but I'm into the horror stuff right now and, and the thriller things and stuff like that. So um, same thing with the next one here. It's Batman Fear State Alpha. So this could just kind of seems like it's fitting in there with uh, the Dark Ages there, but DC's somewhat version i guess you would i would say there they would be comparable um and that one's by uh james tinian and i've been really enjoying his stuff here lately so looking forward to that one the next one here is almost american and this is by uh aftershock from aftershock so i guess this is about a married russian um intel couple that tries to trade um secrets to the u.s uh, in exchange for a free life over in the US, but basically they run into a lot of trouble. So um, see what that one's about. And the next one here is Tarna, the Cosmic Gardener one shot. And what really drove me into this one was the cover. And this one's by Heavy Metal. Um, but I heard good things about Tarna. I never picked up issue one or, or read the series. So I figured I'd grab this one since it's a one shot. And like I said, that cover is pretty cool. Um, so those those are the ones I'm looking forward to reading the most this week. And then I got a couple spec books. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just got three of them here. And the first one's Noctera number one, the second print. The, this is the only and the last Noctera number one that I could find on the shelves. All the first prints were gone. And uh, this is the last of the second print. So I grabbed that one. That one's not going for too much. Probably about cover price right now. Maybe a buck or two more. Um, the next one here is the nice house in the lake number two and the reason why I grabbed this one is because If you get some of those series like something is killing the children or, or those long series that turn out to be really great and, and profitable um, Worth something even the number twos end up being worth quite a bit so everyone was focused on number ones and all these second and third prints and this was the last of number two on the shelf and it was actually a separate shelf. I went to where the back issues were. Um, so I grabbed this one as well. And that one, again, is about the same. Maybe a buck or two more um, than cover price. Uh, and then the last one I have here is Chariot Number 1. And I had to do some digging through, through the back bins for this one. And when I brought it up, the shop owner was like, Wow, we still have Chariot Number 1. And I said, Yeah, I had to do some digging for it, though. Um, but... You know, just like everything out these days, this one's been optioned. There's a lot that have been optioned. Um, who knows where we'll end up going. But uh, this was cover price, so $3.99. But on eBay, it's going for about $20. So that wasn't bad. And then, as always, I always scan through his spawn books. And I like to just go over the ones that I picked up. And the first one here is Spawn, $2.97. And... These actually have quite a bit of value if you get them, you know, even some of the lower ones over 300, like 301, 302, 303, you know, up to up to maybe about 308 or 310. Um, they are worth some money. If you get them before 300, they're definitely worth some money. Uh, this one's worth about 15 bucks, 10, 15 bucks. But the cover price, you know, is only 299. So you can't beat it. <clears throat> so Spawn 297, first print. Uh, this one, I ended up taking quite a bit um, out of his spawn short boxes that he had. And this is spawn 301, and this is a homage. Um, but this one here goes for about 20 to $25. And I probably have about four or five of these now. <clears throat> and the same thing, I had to dig through short boxes that weren't even in his spawn short boxes so they were out with the rest of everything else and when i came across this i couldn't believe it because i thought i already took all of them that he had 
um, but that one's a great find. So right there, 20, 25 bucks of value, paid 4.99 for it. Um, then this next one up here is Spawn 302. And this one, again, it's a 2.99 book, uh, but the value on this is probably about 15 or 20 dollars, which is not bad at all. And the next one here, this one's not worth anything um, other than cover price, maybe a dollar or two. But I don't have this cover, so I wanted to pick it up. And there's definitely some color rub and stuff like that. And I think I saw this last time and I didn't grab it because of the color rub. Um, but this was the only one that he had and I knew I didn't have it. And I just wanted to add it in my run. And it's a Spawn 311. So nothing valuable there, just adding it to my collection. And that's all I have. So again, another short list of of what I'm looking to read, um, some small specs in my spawn books. So that's all I have and I'll see you guys soon. All right, take care.